welcome back to Data Plays. This is episode 57 of Sky Factory 3. So, last episode, we were installing all this new storage. Is, yeah, far out. All the new storage here has finally been installed. I've gone ahead and moved the uh, auto compressor here and rehooked that back up a couple of blocks. So, it looks nice and flush and pretty. She is currently compressing legendary bags as, as we speak, which is fantastic. Now, I've gone ahead and obviously put uh, the labels on all the deep storage unit here. Look at this. I've even moved the skulls. Check it out. 43,000 with the skeleton skulls. Bloody. And then, as you can see, the numbers are just going up, flying up, flying and flying and flying. Bloody. Street. Look at this. Look how many bones. We got 23k. It's nuts. We are doing really, really, really well uh, with this mob farm. Okay, so pretty much what I want to do now to this farm um, is get this freaking sag mill up and going. So what I want to do, she's got 30 diamonds. What I want to do at the moment, um, we're going to remove you, grab you, got you, grab you. All right, got you both. All right, so we're going to pop this guy around the corner. So what, is, what the sag mill is going to be doing is recycling all the diamond gear that we get from loot bags and crunch that back down to raw diamonds again because we don't really need the diamond gear. Well, well, duh, we don't need the diamond gear. So what we're going to do is we're going to pretty much put um, the furnace in the middle here. See, I'm trying to match the other side. Just so it looks, you know, the same and flush and sexy and all that blooming good stuff. And um, then we're going to go ahead and probably put the sag mill at the bottom here. I'm going to remove this for now. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, yep, that's going along good. Now we'll zip underneath the entire farm, which I've yet to remove a lot of this piping. But we're going to come in here to the loot bag. And we're literally going to pour all this junk out. Like, get rid of it all. Even the loot bags, get rid of That can be... Like, they're getting sucked up to be recycled right now, so that's fine. Just toss everything. Don't need it. Bloomin'. Do I need to replace my obsidian axe? Yes, I do. Just throw it away. There we go. Just toss it all. Got all this crap already. I just want the loot bag opener, and I'm not sure if it's kept when we break it. That's all. Boom. Did I get it? Got it. Okay. Now, we throw this bad boy up here. Okay. So, the, the plan is, now, we're going to set this to a priority of 5, which is a bag opener. So, insert, priority of 5. Hopefully, it's not putting crap in there. Fantastic. we gotta, we got to put a filter on it, because what it's going to do, it's going to actually interfere with our opener here. So, we're going to take one of these bad boys here. We're going to go over here, grab a filter, which I think we still have a couple laying around. One. We're going to have to make more of these filters. Um, unless there's some over here, because I did make a bunch before, and I think I used them all up. Well, ah, go away. Yeah, I think I used them all up. That's fine. They're not that expensive to make a bunch more of those filters any bloody way. Okay, so now we've got the filter. We're going to go ahead and put it on insert, in and out. There we go. So we're going to be inserting only. Whoa, crikey. This is definitely old. We're going to be inserting... The legendary here only, okay? And the extraction is going to be everything, okay? Because technically, a legendary loot bag comes in, it gets opened, and then everything gets extracted. And I want the, the obviously, for, for, for there, from there, I want the junk to go into the miscellaneous um, here, this chest here. I want the junk to come out of there and go into the miscellaneous, or in the bin, depending on if it's full. Um, the good stuff I want to end up in here, the sag mill, all right, which has got 30 diamonds in it currently. So that's what I want. But at the moment, I have to make more filters because unfortunately, I don't have all that many basic item filters, which is just a hopper with paper. So I'm going to have to make some more bloody paper. That's no problem. That's no problem. So I'm going to make some of the basic filters here. There we go. So I don't have an automated system for my sugar cane. That's a bugger. All right. Well, I'll be right back, guys. Let me get these uh, item filters uh, up and well, this basic filters made, and I'll be back shortly. All righty then, guys. I am back, and I've made a bunch of filters here. I've actually made 37 of them. A little bit ridiculous and overboard. I know. I know. I know. Okay. So remember, we got this system on. Uh, we got this system here. 
Um, on what have we got it on? Oh, it's meant to be on double. It's meant to be in and out. Sorry, it's meant to be. Um, yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. All right. So the bottom here, the actual bottom, is also going to be an in and out, but insert is going to be a little bit different. We're going to put a filter in there. We're going to clear some inventory space here because there's only five items um, I want done. Well, sagged milled, I should say. So, because I want just diamonds, okay? So we're going to come in here, we're going to literally do the five main items here. So armor sets, like a full armor set, there we go. And the big one, which is actually worth a little, quite a bit diamonds, which is the horse armor, okay? So we got all that, we come back over here to the sag mill, literally inserting only these guys here. Boom, but she's full anyway, so there's not really much I can do. Set on a priority of five. Okay, so they're fan bloody tastic. We can even start throwing this in here, and it should, yeah, there we go. Throw that in there, it should go. Okay, the furnace generator, we can literally just leave it on insert, put it on as a priority of five, and coal will automatically start going in there. That means constant power forever. I did the same thing. I did the same thing with this guy here. This guy, he's never going to run out of coal never ever ever constant so this will power machines permanently and swiftly so that's obviously a great thing just keep throwing stuff in there for it to do okay so we've got that set up we've got that set up so once it's done obviously we want it to take the diamonds out now we want the diamonds to go somewhere pretty important do we have another actually we do we should have another over here this guy should be empty. Yes, oh, it's not empty, but we're going to make it empty. Go away. Literally empty it all out. Go away. Bloody struth. Grab. Where did it go? Did we just lose it? I think the freaking thing just sucked it up. Give me that back. Bloody struth. The, 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 as you can see, the loot is so crazy that the poor poor system can't keep up with it. I really need to get these, these upgrades installed ASAP. So she keeps up quite nicely. Go away, Enderman. I've got a, I've got a, I've got a plan for the Enderman. There's just way too many Endermen. It's pissing me right off. So we've got to, we've got to put the system in up the top because each of these Endermen are literally from my mob farm. They're damaged because they, they're taking. Yeah, see that guy's got uh, 97%. This guy's got 48%. This guy over here is at. Ouch! What the hell? Yeah, don't tick me off. But each of them are damaged slightly. Either from, they, as soon as they hit that wit, witch water, they actually teleport out of it, which is not good. So we've got to come up with a, a way to filter out the freaking Enderman and get them killed separately. So we can, yeah, I've got a few ideas. Got to, Would you bloody nick off? Nick off, mate. I'm going to give you a flogging. Come here. Come here. Where did you go? Where'd you go? Bloody rotten buggy. He's probably going to sneak up to me when I'm bloody on the ground. Okay. So, back to what I was doing. Hello. Ouch, there you are. Really? You guys are such a pain in my bum. Such a pain in my bum. Okay, so back to what I was doing. Bloody struth. Yeah, we're grabbing this guy here, and we're going to stick him up here. All right, on top. All right, it's going to clean this out, obviously. We're going to stick diamonds in. That's where the diamonds are going to go. Freaking struth. Go away. All right, so we'll grab the diamonds out of the sag mill, which we've got 43 of them. Uh, run those guys through it. Come up here, stick diamonds in. Okay, so and all we need to do is grab a label, and when it gets to a stack, it should start showing up. It might, it might show up straight away. No, it's got to have at least a stack in there for it to show up on the system. And as you guys know, we hook this up quite easily. Um... Where are you? Item conduit. Throw that in there. Put it as, as insert and priority, obviously, five. Uh, that's because that's where we got the diamonds to go. So just keep an eye on that. Now, let's get it to extract, obviously, everything, which is just going to be the diamonds here. So put it on extract. There, done. So diamonds should poof, gone. Diamonds are poofed and gone. They should have appeared over here. Yes, they did, because there was forty-nine. There was forty-three 
when we last did it, and there's stuff do it coming now, so we'll just wait. We'll sit here in the window. There we go, 52. So it is working. She is storing our diamonds up, no problem. So the recycler, now, to unleash it. So we've got a little bit of build-up of legendary. So let's go, let's just double-check the system, because if this doesn't work properly, guys, you do realize that it will actually end up in the recycle bin, and that's obviously not a good thing. So we've got to make sure all this is hooked up quite, uh, quite well. And what I'm going to actually do, before I actually do this is I want to move this colossal chest, because eventually I want to get rid of all the colossal chests right around the room. I want to put the colossal chest in here. I think it would be permanent, and probably a diamond version, just to show off a little bit of wealth um, for the miscellaneous goods. Go away, you. So what we'll do is I want to move the main line quite the bit back, if you know what I mean. Can we actually re just remove all the cobblestone here? Thank you. That's a freaking ton better. All right, so that there is a ton better. So now we can sort of just go bypass a lot of this. So let's get ourselves a few of these conduits real quick. Just need a few of these to what we need it for. We don't need them to come out here any longer. All this is, has to be packed up. Okay, so what I want to do is just sort of separate them here. So probably right here will be fine. Boom, boom. And then just sort of connect it into itself. And then same with over here. One, two, three. And then, yeah, just connect it right into itself. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So that should all be roughly connected. So if we had to, we can build here. Because what we can't build here right now, and that's the problem where I'm currently getting rid of, we cannot build here. So what I'm trying to do is just literally bypass everything. There we go, and then we just hook that into there. For now, that's perfect. That is absolutely perfect. There shouldn't be nothing wrong with this setup except just here. And boom, okay. So that there is now sealed. Sealed, and now we got this big bit here to cut out and move chest to later on, um, which is obviously going to be a thing. All right, so that's all fine. That's still running. Let's go up. Yep, see, we can cut that out. Very clear. Lovely. Really? Come on, you. You're going to be that much of a pain in my bum. Get off. Okay, so what we'll do now, come in the back, tell it to, we're going to put it in, we're going to add the bag here to extract mode. So what we'll do, throw it in here, boom. So they're all gone now. Quickly go over here, make sure it has gone into the, yes it has. As you can see, it's gone into the recycler and is currently doing its job. Hell yes. Have that, have that, there you go. So really recycle, we're just taking out all the junk now. So eventually the miscellaneous stuff will end up in, look, because I want to see, obviously I want to keep the draconium and stuff. Which are, all I'm going to do for that is literally just add another, literally add another thing. And this guy is now producing diamonds, and it's going up here in our diamond thingamajig. Ah, that's bloody brilliant. That's freaking awesome. That is what I wanted. Hell yes. Okay. So I don't know if I have enough for a diamond chest. Uh, hang on. Chests. How many pieces does it take to make a colossal wall? <sighs> Ooh, ouch, Ew, yeah, a little bit of ouchy there, but it's probably worth it, because I think the, the wooden one, yeah, the, the, the diamond one obviously has so much, oh, look at all these freaking bags, I've got to put this back through the machine, I did break this before, and it somehow started filling itself up with bags, that has to go back out, like, legit have to be sucked out, okay, so... Diamonds should be going up into here. Yes, we got more. We're just about to get more than 64. Ah, oh, that's freaking awesome. That's freaking awesome. And more than 64. And boom. Perfect. Boom. Drained out. Oh, look. And now it's showing up on the thing. That's absolutely brilliant. So our system now works from, from over here to going over there. Okay. So I like that. I like that a lot. Crikey. Can we get any XP? I'm lucky I've, 
Lucky I've got the freaking mob noises turned off. You drive you guys up the wall. Absolutely drive it. Okay, so back to what I was doing. Let's go see how much diamonds we can rouse up. Um, so we got diamonds here, diamonds here. Ouch. Thank you for that whack. I needed it. Yeah, diamonds there, diamonds there. Um, we can throw a couple of these stacks out so they keep producing. How are you guys going? You barely use any power. I barely use anything. And you still produce me diamonds. Okay. So we'll come over here. We'll grab the diamonds out of... Go away, you. Um, there's diamonds in... There we go. Take the diamonds out of that for now because we don't need it. Look, all these diamonds we can use. All right. Zoo. Bye-bye. We also have diamonds in here. All this armor's got to be recycled, by the way. Got to be recycled. All this, these colossal chests are going. So all this junk has to be... Ow! It's got to go where it's meant to go. It's freaking night time. You guys are pain in the bum. You're lucky. Oh, the sun's just about to come up. Actually, screw it. I'm sleeping. I'm freaking sleeping. Ugh. Struth. Blummin' struth. But my... F Whoa! Really? Far out. That's my fault for not doing slabs like everybody suggested in the beginning. Right in the beginning. Okay, so... Now, we should have, we have a butt ton of diamonds. Let's go ahead and clear some of this inventory. We'll get rid of the that and some coal. That can go. Stone brick can go. That can go. Obsidian shovel can stay. Well, do the diamonds can stay. But brick can go. That can go. Filters, butt ton of them can stay. Gone, 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 gone. All right. Bob's your uncle. Okay, so we'll go get a stack of wood out of the wood chickens. Ba bomb. There we go. And we'll build some wall, some colossal freaking things here. Oh, what we'll do is break this diamond up first. Boom. To be honest, we probably don't need all that many. That's definitely expensive. We are building a diamond colossal chest. 32. Let's just stay with that for now. Um, and see how far we get with that. Alright, so what we'll do is going to become laggy, guys. No. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. we got to do this. Has to be done. Bye-bye. Have fun. Enjoy your trip. Ha-ha. And where is my axe? And we'll chop this out here. There we go. Chopped. Fantastic. So we sort of just come down like that because we're building a colossal chest. Ba -bom. Um, on the other side as well. We can get rid of the other colossal chest. I need to make a core and stuff. And an interface, so we'll do that now. Diamond interface. So we need a diamond interface, which is just literally cobblestone. Frick, that's easy as. That's easy as. I just need a couple pieces of cobble. Um, stone. Really? You're going to be that much of a pain in there. Oh, no, it's not going to be that much pain in the bum. All right, so we'll make an in make one interface. There we go. And we'll make one call. Where is your call? Oh, Really? That's it? That's the core? That's actually not bad. The walls were the most expensive bit. Okay, so the interface is probably going to sit at the back. Can I please just get through here without freaking around? Alright, come out the back here. We'll put the interface here. This is pretty much where we want the, uh, um, the pipe to connect to. So we can run the pipe straight on. And if we put an interface in, we should be able to connect it up. There we go. And we'll put the core, the, the core at the front. So, boom, that's the core. And that there. All right. She should be done. We have a solid diamond colossal chest. Holy nuts. And that there is meant to be, be oh, far out. I'm scrolling with my scroll wheel and it's barely moving. Freaking struth. This thing, I think, has way more room then this guy here, look, I scroll with my scroll wheel, it goes up and down real easy, like, in a single slice I'm, I'm going down, but a single slice of this doesn't even budge. That's nuts. This diamond chest probably holds, like, five or six colossal normal bloody strut. And that looks sexy, doesn't it, guys? All right, well, to be honest, that does <laughs> freaking sexy. Whoa, going down. Don't, don't mean to go down. Um, okay, all right. So there's one thing we can do to get rid of the junk. So there's a lot of junk in here. And I got got this given this tip ages ago. Thank you. Thank you for the tip. Got it given ages ago, and I was going to obviously implement it. But there is a, a block 
Okay. Called, uh, I think it's the Recycle. Oh, Recycle. I don't know. It's by Open Bags. Hang on. At Open. No, it's, oh. Uh, or bags. I've forgotten a bloody thing. Here, right there. So, here's the bag opener. There's the Loot Recycler. All right. So, pretty basic stuff. So, what the Loot Recycler does, it takes weapons, like bows. That's right. Gold armor. That's right. And it recycles it. And, say, ten bows will give you one common loot bag. Ha uh-huh. ha. Yeah. So, we're not going to have so much junk laying around, eh? No not much junk in the trunk. So, all we need, he's got chest, got iron, I think we got it all. Hang on a second, can we just make that right off the bat? Oh, really? Is, can it just have stone? I think it can. Stone, please. Stack of stone, thank you. Bloody brilliant. Recycler. Get one of these bad boys. Alright. So I think we're going to hook the loot recycler. Yeah. The, ouch! Loot recycler. I don't know where. I could put it over there. Or I could put it over there. Hang on a sec. I might put it behind. Hang on. Go away, you little rotten. Because this doesn't require power. It's like this. Yeah, that doesn't require power. So we could put it right here behind the, the new colossal chest. Put the loot recycler. Oh, why, thank you. Why, thank you. Where did it just go? I just had the loot. Re- oh, that's bloody in my inventory. Pum. There. Okay. So all we would have to do is set the priority. So come down here. There you go. So we set the priority, remember we got to set it, when we put insert here, guys, we have to set the priority lower than anything. You know how we set the priority for 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, everything to 5, which is what we've been setting the priority at? We have to set this guy to 4, okay, priority 4. So we need to turn it into an inny and outy, and insert, we'll take priority 4. Is it working? Yes, it is. Did you guys see the flashes? Yeah. Okay, it should be working. I think it's working. So pretty much... See, there the bows? Did you guys see that? So eventually, it's going to be... It's going to have... So this guy here, anything that doesn't end up in the miscellaneous will end up in here. So we're going to set the miscellaneous to priority three. You sort of get where I'm going with this? Yeah... So this guy should be making our first bag set. Oh, there we go. Store, highlight it, it says stored loot value. And it is 489 out of 2,000. So as soon as we get a 2,000, we get one loot bag. So obviously bloody brilliant system that we are now hooking up. So now we can disconnect. That's right. We can finally, we still got the rubbish bin. Yeah, the rubbish bin's still hooked up. We can finally disconnect this sucker here. And actually, we're going to tell the system... See, this is all minus one. Bye-bye. We're going to tell it to extract everything out of this this colossal chest now and to be recycled. Well, everything it can, because not everything can be recycled. So we'll tell it to literally start extracting. There we go. Brrr, just go nuts. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go... Look, we can even add another one. Tell it to extract, please. And can we do another one over here? Yes, we can. Let's let's increase that speed. There we go. All right, she's going nuts. All the loot bags should end up where they're meant to. Um, this entire style thing should be... How's our little loot thing coming? we still got... Oh, oh, look at that. That's freaking brilliant. And 2,000. Yeah, there's our first bag. We're, we're, we're well on our way for our second loot bag. So all we'll have to do... Now is tell this guy, this guy's now going to have a priority of three. There we go. So anything that cannot be recycled now will end up in this diamond colossal chest. But can you see we're not getting any, oh, we are, oh, are we? So I guess the, the chest plate here, hang on, I'm just going to double check this. Nah, you can't put it in. Okay, so, oh, I just seen draconic freaking stuff, stuff being recycled. Nah, that kind of sucks. Uh, we're almost got three loot bags. We've got three loot bags stored up already. Okay, so not the point. Uh, we're probably going to put a filter. Um, not to... We need to find, We need to put a draconic stuff. Um, yeah, so pretty much what, what I'll do is come over to this chest. 
I'll look through all the stuff that I think is valuable, obviously, aka Draconic Dust and Draconic Ingots, set up filters for that and put it at priority 5, so that I don't end up in the recycler. And then, obviously, anything else I actually need as well. So, freaking crikey. So, at the moment, yeah, we've got four loot bags. That's insane. So, it looks like chains, guys. Chainmail is no go. The chainmails do not get recycled. But, as you can see, no gold armor... Um, we've got a couple of iron shovels and iron things, but I think they can't be recycled. Yeah, everything that obviously can't not be recycled is going into the miscellaneous. So, yeah, I can't click that. That's fine. That's awesome. That technically now we've got a filter for the filter. So we are filtering the junk, but we're getting tons of these freaking headpiece things. Okay, so what we're going to do now is tell, um, tell it to extract everything there we go so there goes the loot bags the loot bags will obviously head over to our this guy here which will obviously be compressing them up and sending them over here this guy will be making diamonds for us um yeah this were yeah there's nothing in there at the moment how is our diamond supply we have 77 diamonds i'm going to add the rest of them there we go so we have a little bit of a diamonds build up here give me my xp please da ding why aren't they dying? Like, there's some in there that just refuse to die. I thought the full damage itself would kill them. Okay. Bloody brilliant. Alright. So, it looks like... Can we filter out the chain? Like, can we have them destroyed? Because it looks like there's certain stuff... Yeah. Could you imagine just having an entire colossal chest full of freaking heads? And dies? That's nuts. Okay, so that's fine. How does this guy? This guy completely empty. Yep, this wooden col colossal chest is now completely empty, and we can now decommission it. You rest in peace, my my giant colossal friend, and bye bye you go. Okay, so now, yeah, that's bloody brilliant. Bloody brilliant. Our new our new system is going to be working top notch. Right, can I just hold down the button, please? There we go. And we'll hold down the button for these two. Bye-bye. And last but not least, the Colossal Core. And bye-bye. That is freaking awesome. I, I think where we put the freaking chest is perfectly fine. Um, and what we can do, and what I'm going to do actually. Boom, boom. Get rid of these blocks here. And literally have it run up to here like that in stone brick okay you got me you got me you you got me all right so we'll go grab some stone brick no not a problem run over here take some stone brick and finish this off now whoopsie there we go look at this hide the colossal chest there we go we get we're gonna fine tune the hell out of this loot though like legitly fine tune boom boom there we go. Have a look at that. And we can seal this up as well. So it's starting to look... See Whoa! You bloody rotten bugger, you. Go away. I will pick you in the freaking face. Fine. Be like that. Get off my platform. Nope. Yep. Okay. Good. And you too. Get off. Ah, oh, fine. Be like that. Whatever. I was busy anyway. But look at this. Doesn't that look a lot leader? We have literally a recycler recycling stuff, reducing it even further down. It's not filling up so much now, but if I can reduce it further down, like get rid of these iron shovels and stuff, that would be even freaking better. I'm actually not even sure. Can we even smelt down any of these chain mail or, or anything like that? Because if that's possible, we could recycle it and refine it even, even better. Can we like literally, boom, nah. Unfortunately, cannot be smelted. Not smelted. Not smelted. Yeah. So, unfortunately, these are complete wasters. Like, I don't even think the sag mill will take them, will it? Will you take this? No. Not even the sag mill takes none of this stuff. Bloody strew. That's how strict, that's how nasty this stuff is. All right, finish this off now. I think we're going to call it. I've gone for a little bit over time today. Alright guys, thanks for watching episode 57 of Sky Factory 3. Don't forget if you're enjoying the content guys, please leave, you know, smash those buttons, leave a like or a dislike. Totally up to you if you didn't enjoy the episode. Look at that. 
That's looking sexy. Really? Really? Freaking crikey. Get off my platform. As I was saying before I got rudely interrupted, Guys, don't forget to, you know, dislike, you know, leave a like, dislike, totally up to you, comment below, hi data will do just fine, or how was your day, that's, that's cool too. Um, also, if you're super enjoying this series, playlist is in the description, do me a massive favour, copy the li link in the description for the playlist, it contains all the episodes up until now, and then go share that on your favourite social, social media, just, you know, ask some people to check it out, bring some more people over and get them addicted to the series as well. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later.